I often get asked why I still use the knockdown camera and it's appeared to me that many of my subs don't actually know why I leave it on. So I'm a player that came from Asphalt 8. Asphalt 8 is all manual driving and I turned the knockdown camera off for three and a half years, played without it because it was a nuisance to me. I started A9 and the moment I turned A9 on, I went to settings. So I went to the top right, went to settings, went to sound and display, and I turned the knockdown camera off. Okay. When I started making the YouTube channel, just by chance, I decided to turn it on again for some cinematic effect. But then the moment I turned it on, I realized that it gives you an advantage when you're driving with touch drive. So I'll try and explain doing a race. I'm farming for trade coins. So let's pick a slow, slow car for, well, let's just do the D-class in the Elise. So with touch drive, the knockdown camera gives you an advantage because it slows down time and it slowing down time enables you to input more precise nitro or drift commands at the point of a collision. So a collision can happen and it can cause your car. So I hit, then I've got time to think. It gives me time to think, readjust the nitro. Now that is an advantage. So the moment I realize that's an advantage, how can I possibly turn it off again? Is that clear? Do people know now why I use the knockdown camera? The only argument I've heard for against it when driving with touch drive is that it could cause device lag. But then it doesn't cause me any device lag. It, it makes it smoother because it reduces the amount the game has to do, slows down the timer, and it's easier for the game to process what's going on. And I can redirect my car better while it's in slow-mo. I can alter the nitro better while it's in slow-mo. If the whole lap was in slow-mo, everyone could drive it better. So there's, there's no logic to not understanding why it's an advantage to have the touch drive camera on. And I hope more people, sorry, have the knockdown camera on. And I hope more people turn it on after thinking about it now. Because I think most of the people turned it off just because they listened to someone else tell them to turn it off because it does something to your phone or something. Utter nonsense. And remember, it does nothing to multiplayer. So I, it really confuses me when people ask the question about why I have the knockdown camera on on a multiplayer race video where it's not done anything with a knockdown camera. I wish it worked in multiplayer. I wish it slowed everyone else down. <laughs> I should do another race type to try and make it clearer. So a race that involves cops, like a credits heist race. I've still got the A-class objective here. So I'll use the Lamborghini Aventador J. Races with cops, such as credit heist race, hunted races, or the money runs we had in Drive Syndicate 3, are much easier when you've got the knockdown camera on. In every collision, you get more time to think and more time to act. So thinking time, acting time. Thinking time, acting time. Theoretically, a faster lap is possible in a race that has AI and cops than in a race without them. And many drivers often complain about there being cops in the way or AI getting in the way, but you can use it to your advantage. Every single collision you have with a cop, if you can knock them down without slowing down, you get a nitro boost. So technically, you should be able to achieve a faster lap if cops are on the race with you and the knockdown camera helps you 
be really efficient with the nitro and the trajectory of the car after each impact. If you watch some of my money run videos from Drive Syndicate 3, I'll put a link on the end screen or, or on the I button. You'll really see how powerful the knockdown camera is at giving you an advantage in races. I think we should do one more race though, which is the hunted race that I just used for the 15 knockdowns in the BMW homage mission. So I think it was chapter two, Eastern Getaway. So chapter two in the middle here, Eastern Getaway. Race six or seven. Land of the snow. Land of the snow. This has a crazy amount of cops. What car shall I use? I'll use the BMW again. No, I won't. I'm going to use that Camaro. I'm not sure if I already said have a look at my money run missions from Drive Syndicate 3. I'll put links for them. But in this race, just watch how much opportunity I get at every knockdown to readjust my nitro or, or what's happening. So there, I get to think. Gives you like half a second to think and change your mind about what you're going to do with the nitro or how you're going to direct the car. I have actually used the knockdown camera on manual as well in A9 and it's okay, it's just a bit confusing if it changes the perspective. You just have to remember not to follow the camera when you're changing how you drive. Time to think on that slow-mo. Which was there anyway as a gift from the game as part of the cut sequences. But I'm thinking and I see that I'm at Shockwave and I can cut. Thinking there, I can. That gave me. There again, it gives me time to do that. Look at. You can't do that without the knockdown camera on. I saw that the nitro bar was just below the top. And then while it was on slow mo, touched the drift for a little bit to take it back to Shockwave. 100% knockdown camera is a massive advantage for touch drive drivers. I hope that was all really clear. So my recommendation, if you're touch drive, is go to game settings and have knockdown camera enabled. Good luck, guys. I'm madder than you.